will die. What's up, Swag family? Just something I want to bring to y'all today. Now look, don't worry about how my page look right now. I'm just starting it. Everything going to improve, so y'all just stay with me. Because we're going to be all right. All right. But it was just something I need to go ahead and, and address real quick. I know most of y'all already heard Prime's outlook on the money games. Now, we've all been talking about that for a while. All right. And he had some statements that he brought out. Now, to me, made a lot of sense, but you got to look at it from perspective. Bro, you got a lot of you got a lot of good outlook on that. But you just got here, bro. You just got here. And things ain't quite the same for all of us like it is for you at this point. Right? Die. So well, I'm going to let y'all look at a little bit of what he said. Right? Makes sense, but there's more to it. Watch what he says. This is something that I need to address. And I'm glad you give me the opportunity to. We we have an opportunity to the iPhone. We have an opportunity to play against these power five. And it's cool. I know some things you do and some things you do for money. I don't agree with that because I think that's the ultimate sign the other phone, iPhone. The ultimate sign of selling out. I was talking about sellout in our our vernacular, um, and I don't like that terminology. But when we do something just for money, what is that in called? What is that called? If I'm sitting up here, I wanted some numbers, okay? And I'm looking at numbers that they gave me. Marshall got a million two five to play against Notre Dame, Appalachian State. Got a million five to play against uh, Texas A&M. Georgia Southern got one four to play against Nebraska. Okay, and so forth. Uh, now let's get to us. Fam, you got four fifty to play against North Carolina. Southern, thank God, you got seven sixty. I like that. Alabama State five nine. If you UCLA, you probably exhausted that in the flight going all the way across the country. But doing cook, but I don't even know what they pay out there. We still try to find out that Alabama and AM, 300,000 as well to play against UAB. If we're going to get our butt kicked, shouldn't it be worth it? How in the world are we selling for the peanuts and the, 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 the little minute droppings that they're giving us when everybody's darn near five, six hundred thousand? Should we get together and huddle up? as the HBCU and say, we're not playing these beat down games unless we get this. Now, don't go up under, you can negotiate above, but have the level be 750 a million, have something, make it worth your team's while because you're gonna lose players, you're gonna lose pride and dignity when we sit up here and telling you we're just as good, but you go out there and show that we're not as good, we're not nearly as good, and then you're losing three to four players because of the type of beating that you've got. Now you got to lift them and build them back up the next week to go right there and say, you could do it this week. Forget about last week, but you could do it this week. I don't understand that. I don't understand how we allow these other schools to get these type of purses to play against the same team that we're playing against. So who's negotiating this? Can we get together and form a committee or something and say, we're not doing it unless we get a million. Negotiate up, but don't negotiate down. And that million should go directly to your football department. They are digging their butts kicked. Not the rest of the school. They are digging their butt kicked. They are digging abused. They are digging hurt. They are digging injured. And then you want to spread it out of school? I don't agree with that. If they had their plan, they should reap the benefits. 
of the sacrifices that they're making. I just don't like what I'm seeing. Guys get 1.4, 1.2, 1.7, or whatever, and we get peanuts. I don't like that. So that means we're not doing well business wise. I just want to alarm you on that kind of stuff because that's the kind of stuff I think about. And that matters to me. That's the ultimate sellout to me. So I'd rather us get together. Somebody take the lead. I'd be glad to. I'm used to being in that position and say, you know what? We're not doing it. Well, Coach Brown, it's easy for y'all to say, no, no, we're in the same financial situation. We're not in a better financial situation than any of the rest of everybody. We may do more. We're able to work more. And we're able to go out there and get more because we got to go get them. But when it comes to selling, selling our kids out, I can't take it, man. It frustrates me. It angers me. It, it upsets me wholeheartedly. And I'm sorry, preventing, but when I see that kind of stuff and I look at those stats, and it makes me mad. It really does. Y'all hear that? I got you, Prime. I got you, bro. Yeah. You right. You right. There's a lot more to it, though, bro. A lot more to it. And me and you can talk about it now. We can talk about it. Point well taken, man. But here's a little bit more, though. Yeah, man, I agree with you wholeheartedly. These teams are getting these meals and meal point two, meal point three. They don't even have the money woe that we got. So that don't even make sense. I'm with you on that, bro. I'm with you on that. Now, here's the problem. And I think you probably figured this out by now. Bro, we had a lot of bad deals in our conference for a long time. Yes, we have. And we got to get better at that. However, here's one point. You said that you and your organization in the same boat? Not quite. Not quite. Now, if I'm not mistaken, now nah, y'all correct me if I'm wrong. Bro, you gave up 150000 to get something done. I don't know what it was. I don't know what exactly it was. To get something done for your people of your salary. I applaud that. However, it's plenty of coaches in the conference they give up what you gave up. They just gave up their whole salary. Their whole salary. But anyway. Okay. So, getting together, negotiating together, good idea. And I definitely, now this is just me talking. Now I know a lot of my people gonna, might slap me around for saying this, but yeah, bro, I don't have no problem putting you in the lead on that. But here's the only little catch to that. What if they say no? To what we propose. Right? We don't have a season. Many of these teams don't have a season. Many of these schools don't have a season. Many of these athletic budgets don't have a season for the money games to come, not to come through. Then what are we going to do? 
Now I'm not I'm not throwing out doom and gloom. Now if we got a if we got an answer to that, I'm good with it. But to this point, we don't have an answer for that. If some of these teams, some of these schools, don't have these money games, basketball is doomed. Baseball is doomed. Track is doomed. All of that other stuff, volleyball, soccer, is doomed. So, sell out, mm, I don't know, bro. I don't know if you can call it that. Because it's just so much depending on that. Right? But yeah, don't get me wrong. We got to do something. And what we're doing right now ain't all together working. But you can't just jump off that bus like that. It ain't that easy, bro. Not that easy. We're going to have to have something else. There's a little more talk to be done to it. I'm willing to talk about it. You know, I'm not this big businessman like that. But you know what? I got a little mother wit. Got a little common sense. And I sure would like to be in on those talks. And we can see what we can do, cuz. I'm down for mine, bro. And whatever we can do to make this thing step up season by season, I don't know how long it would take. But I'm willing to do it. So... You got to think about it on everybody else's perspective, too. You thinking about it on your perspective. Everybody not like you and you. Everybody don't have the resources and, and the bagging and, and the business sense that you have. So it's going to take a minute. We just can't just, you know, this ain't going to just turn around just because, you know, we say this ain't good today and tomorrow is good. Not going to happen like that. You know that. But I'm with you now. But it's going to have to be on a way that everybody can get it and go with it. Now, we don't know. We'll see. Discussions need to happen. But it ain't as easy as what you're saying. I can't see it. I can't see it being that simple. But you know what? Like you said to your organization, to your people, and to your school, I got just enough sense. I don't have enough sense to say I believe we can do it. But it ain't going to be as easy as you thought. So, let's get started on it. I'm with it. Who else in? Dial in, hit me up, let's see where we can go with this, because uh, it's time, you right, it's time, and you know what, you know damn well.